Last month, my best friend called me and told me he was dying. Back in fifth grade, my best friend Chris was diagnosed with cancer. He spent many months battling it and eventually, a 12-year-old boy was able to overcome one of life's most difficult challenges, and he was stronger because of it. In sophomore year of high school, Chris woke up to the news that his sister had taken her own life. After getting through many months of emotional chaos, Chris overcame this period of his life. In senior year of high school, Chris and I had English together, and we decided to start a nonprofit based off of the experience of us playing video games in the hospital together. We brought joy to thousands of children in the hospital and thousands of people living with disabilities. Last month, my best friend called me and told me he was dying. Chris called and told me that his doctors said there's no more options. His cancer is mutated, and this time I don't think he can overcome it. He said he's afraid of not being able to experience the things he wants to in life. At that very moment, I decided that I'd drop out of college and I'd do everything in my power to allow him to experience his one list and his one life. At the very least, we can come together and we can allow Chris to experience life while he still can. This is the beginning of our list. This is my best friend. <laughs> have you um i forget where it is but have you heard of the world's longest slide oh yeah yeah it's like it's supposed to be like so many stories high it's literally like almost 100 i don't i can't even imagine a slide bigger than this can you do a pull-up no let's do it can, can i do, do a pull-up <laughs> all right <laughs> you know what i've always wanted to do huh. lift weights with the rock <laughs> With the rock? Well, he would probably be lifting us. Yeah. But I think that would be an awesome thing. Do you have any of these murals? Are there these? You know what I want to do? I want on my bucket list. I want to get a piece of art drawn by us up in an art gallery. Yes. Yes. And it's going to look better than this four, <laughs> four year old's drawing. We're going to beat that kid. Do you remember when like this whole thing started in fifth grade? And you were super excited that Make-A-Wish was coming. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, great. they like, they called you or whatever they did. And I remember we're, you didn't even know what to do. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, I was blown away. It was just like, all right, you get to wish for whatever you want, except for money or cars or anything like that. <laughs> but like, it's pretty much anything else. You want to go anywhere, that's fine. You want to shop anywhere, that's fine. It was magical. It's literally giving a little I, kid, like, I mean, that, whatever. It was like... What's your bucket list, kid? Yeah. And yeah, it was like, like, I don't, we never, like, I mean, that was a weird question to have to answer at such a young age. Yeah. We never even made the list. Yeah, we never did. Uh, I kind of did. That should be thing. number one on our list. Yeah. It's making, making, the list. making the list, like making an actual, you That's know. Like, I was thinking, what if we did, like, singing, but not just normal singing, like large scale singing in front of a large amount of people, like, like an opera? do a play. Well, like, we're, we sing but in yeah, front of an audience? Sing. Yeah, yeah, like... Me and you sing in front you know, of an audience? Yeah, whatever it be, like, just something, like some Kesha, you know, just break it down for the people, you know? Were you there when I asked out Kirsten over here and I wore the suit of armor? Yeah, yeah, you did the big thing for homecoming. And you sword, made it, and yeah, I yeah, fought, yeah, I had the big, fight. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was fun. Yeah, I, I would like to eventually, you know, hopefully find someone as a... As a ridiculous as you two are, you know, you guys just fit each other's weird quirks like perfectly, and like that'd be pretty cool eventually, you know, to find someone that's uh, it's weird enough that just matches. We gotta know. get you on Tinder. Yeah, <laughs> sure. We gotta have a photo shoot. All right, this is your Tinder profile picture right here. We still have never gotten the achievements in Call of Duty 4. Well, we've gotten some of them. We've gotten some we, of no, them. No, we haven't gotten 100%. And I remember we used to play that in game our, all the like, time. In our first Call of Duty. I'm and pretty I always sure tried that was... so hard, and we've not gotten 100%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was legitimately We need first... to get 100% achievements in Call of yeah. Duty 4. That just has to happen.